Hey guys, yes it's me who you think it was and it's him. And today we are going to give you our honest reviews of our Disneyland vacation. Now this is our first time ever going to Disneyland. Um, he's been there before. I was there maybe when I was like five. So this is my first time. Um, <coughs> we are avid Disney World boys. So we go to Disney World every year. Um, we know the ins and outs. Are you busy? No, oh, hold on. Are you busy? <laughs> hold on. You must be very busy. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, like I said, we go to Disney World every year. And I know it like the back of my hand. I used to be a cast member there for about three, four years, three and a half years. And so, Disney World's my jam. And going to Disneyland was on a bucket list because I wanted to see like where it all started like the original everything we're in our pajamas still so this is like we'll call it pajama review so this is Ivan and Johnny's pajama review of Disneyland um now this in no way is to insult Disneyland to insult Disney it is just an honest review from an ex cast member slash guest and a just normal it's a normal a normal guest sorry i have allergies because these trees decided to bloom while we are away and yeah my allergies are crazy but um i don't we were we were gonna do like a scale thing but i don't think we can it's hard to compare like specific things because they're so different in so many ways um so we're gonna start off with travel okay Disney World has the Magical Express, which offers free pickup to and from the airport. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to have reservations for it, but I don't think it, I don't remember it being an extra charge. No, I don't think so. So, <clears throat> again, our facts might be wrong. If we are wrong, please leave us a comment below. Don't bad, don't like start coming for us. Like, Is think it our opinion, it's our, our opinion, our experience. And sometimes people make mistakes, y'all. Don't mm -hmm. get crazy. Our experience could be different from your experience. <laughs> So, <clears throat> so the pickup at Disney World is a lot more convenient. They pick you up. They take you to your resort. Um, granted, they do stop at different resorts to drop off other people. So you're not. It's not a direct one way thing. Um, if you use Magical Express over there, over here is I believe it's for an extra charge, and they do the same thing. So they'll like pick you up, and it only comes one every hour. So, like I said, you can miss. You can get there at 11 and exit and miss the 11 o'clock one, so you're stuck waiting an hour till the 12 o'clock one comes. And that's if there's nobody in line in front of you and mm -hmm. fill up the bus before you even get on. So there's no guarantee that you're gonna get on as soon as you land. So we used the lift, which was very convenient. Lift was very convenient. However, it did cost us $50 mm -hmm. to get there to Paradise Pier so from LAX. Divide that by two, it was only $25. $25 each. Uh, to and from the Disney lift, I looked it up. It was gonna cost sixty bucks for each of us. Okay, like I said, we might be wrong on that, but sixty dollars roughly. <clears throat> so you can go and come. Um, so from LAX to Paradise Pier it was about fifty dollars. Um, so a hundred dollars total going and coming uh, for our entire trip. <coughs> it was Sorry. far from there, and it was far. It was about forty-five minutes, forty-eight minutes. From LAX to Paradise Pier, um, no traffic, and they use the express tollway. So, granted, we got there like at uh, like at ten. We landed at ten. Um, so once we got to the hotel, we checked in, and it was about eleven fifteen, and they told us our room wasn't ready. So we were like, okay, cool, that's no problem. Like we've had to do that before at Disney World too, but Disney World says zero stop. At Disney World, it's, it was like. An hour. Um, they told us to go to uh, Downtown Disney. So we went to Downtown Disney, checked in our bags, went to Downtown Disney. We had lunch, we shopped, we walked around for a good uh, like two and a half hours. We came back and our room still wasn't ready. They checked on the computer, it wasn't ready yet. Um, granted, this is after being up at three in the morning. Okay, we were up since three, maybe 2.30 in the morning because uh, our flight was at five. So, we were at this time it was maybe the three, 
And they'll, they told us they'll be ready between three and four. And it was after four. And it was already after four. So we literally had to find a couch um, in the lobby. And we sat there. And we, someone, like, fell asleep. So that was super inconvenient. Because the last thing you want to do is get to a resort and have to wait to freshen up. Wait to change and shower and rest it's after a long day of traveling. So that was horrible. Um, <clears throat> however... The room itself, uh, when we stay at Disney World, we stay at a value resort, which is, I mean, it, the rooms are nice. They're small. Um, there's two queen size beds in those that we stay at. We usually stay at uh, movies or music, all star music or movies. Um, and the resorts are nice there. I think the next one where I want to stay at is Pop. Well, yeah, now that we can afford it, we can. Um, <clears throat> So, like I said, the resorts are nice. However, it's spread out more at Disney World. Like, you can get a resort, and then there's, like, five or six buildings in that resort. So you would have to walk to your buildings. This was just one giant hotel. It used to be a, a hotel before Disney bought it, made it into this, whatever. This room was beautiful. Uh, the bed was enormous. What? <laughs> this bed was enormous. King size, but California King, it was huge. Uh, I came with a pull-out couch. Uh, you can see it in the vlog, like the first vlog that we get there. <clears throat> Amenities were nice. We were hit with a pool view. It was very nice. Very, very nice. We paid about $378 for the weekend. So Saturday, Sunday was uh, $378 and $308 for the weekday. So we spent about $2,000 for six nights um, five five days, six nights, something like that. So it's a little pricey in just the resorts. However, the convenience of it all was really good. Like, it was super cool because I could literally walk to downtown Disney in five minutes. While Disney World, you have to take a bus everywhere, regardless of where you're staying. Unless you're staying, like, on property, like, like next to Magic Kingdom, like Contemporary or Animal Kingdom Lodge, where you can just literally just watch mm. in the park. Mm. Um, this one is three hotels, boom, 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 mm. right next to each other. And then there's a strip, mm. which is downtown Disney, that opens mm. up to uh, California Adventure and Disneyland. So everything is walking distance. Like, literally, walk across the street, within five minutes you're in the park at California Adventure, or like maybe seven minutes to get to Disneyland on the monorail, uh, through the monorail station at Downtown Disney, drops you off inside the park at uh, Tomorrowland, which is cool, super convenient, the convenience was there. So, um, Disneyland wins with convenience as far as Disney resorts, and the proximity around each each park. You can see the fireworks from our hotel, um, which is really close. Excuse our dogs. Yeah, there's a designated area uh, there on the wood floor, like the 15th floor or whatever. And you get to see the fireworks. Not the 15th floor, it was like the pool, the pool deck, like the fifth floor. But the fireworks from right across the street. And you can hear the music. And they type in the Disney heads, right? Um, so the convenience was there. Um, food rating, everything that we tried at Disneyland snack-wise was delicious. Snacks. Straight up snacks. It was delicious. Like Mickey ear, Mickey Pops, um, the churros, the popcorn, the classics, the Dole Whip. I had a loaded Dole Whip, which was fantastic. Um, everything was super good. I, am I? Okay, I'm just checking the TV yeah, there. Um, everything was super good, all the snacks. Restaurants, however, were like, really. We went to Carnation, um, Carnation Cafe, which I heard really things that good, really good things about it uh, for dinner, but we wanted to do breakfast because we're breakfast people. So we did the breakfast there, and I was so underwhelmed. The chicken was dry. I got the Mickey chicken and waffles. It was super dry, flavorless. Why did they put chips on it? I don't know. <laughs> But I was expecting, like, wow, flavor. I had no. eggs, Benedict. It was very basic. Basic, basic anywhere. breakfast. We went to Coco's, Coco's across the street from Disneyland. Like, literally across the street off property. Delicious. So if you go to Disneyland and go you don't want to go either the park, 
go across the street to Coco's Bakery and Restaurant. And it's eating there. So delicious. I young, and I told Ivan he made fun of it, <coughs> and he instantly regretted it. And I instantly regretted it. It was delicious. 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 And so, um, snacks were freaking good. Like, everything we had snack-wise was delicious. We went to a food and wine festival there, so they had even more snacks. Guys... <laughs> So, uh, they had food and wine festivals, so they had even more snacks and more things to try. So we got the Sip and Savor Pass, which was $54, but you can try eight. I believe it was eight. Honestly, okay, maybe because your palate's different than mine. I didn't think I would have benefited from that. Um, the food was a little uh, strange to me. There was toast with cream cheese oh, and artichokes or delicious it didn't look good um, no it was delicious y'all I, I i'm glad that i waited because i got the the best turkey leg i've ever had in my life okay but he puts ketchup on everything so don't even listen to him. no it was it was a buffalo it. turkey leg with buffalo sauce and uh what is it uh, chives chives and, and cream, what is it uh blue ranch. cheese blue ranch oh, it was it was so good. good but again that was a snack Jack Jack was so good that he had to keep eating mine. Jack Jack's cookie num nums were as possibly the best cookie I've ever had in my and life. And he doesn't like chewy cookies. And I hate chewy cookies. But this one is Fight me. Jack Jack Yum Yums. Fight me. I hate chewy cookies, but this was so good. It tastes like butter with chocolate. It was milk. like this big. Oh gosh. And it came with delicious whole carton milk. Yeah, we bought milk with it. Um we had a, we actually had that for breakfast. Um <clears throat> But the restaurants, back to the restaurants, were just subpar. They weren't amazing. However, we did go to Plaza Inn for breakfast with the character that breakfast, and that was delicious. That was good breakfast, like legit breakfast. And the characters were so rare, and they were awesome, and it was cool. Um, <coughs> so Disneyland, what I noticed is that they use real ingredients as opposed to Disney World. I, I say I this just... a lot, but the eggs, they always use imitation eggs. At Disney World and here Disneyland. Don't say always. You don't know. It tastes weird. This is my thing about Disney World food. Disney World, I believe that they just crank out so much yeah, because there's the, so the many The variety people. sucks. Too. I'm sorry. This is not good. I don't know how many times I ate those tater top barrels with they everything. Good. They were good. They serve it with everything as opposed to Disneyland. <laughs> they give you real stuff to eat. They do because it's smaller. It's less. They don't have to crank out a billion scrambled eggs. They, they, it's fast at Disney World. It's fast because there's a lot more people. Um, so yeah, I mean, the, the quality of the food suffers a little bit. But here, the food quality was good. Yes. Minus the restaurants, which is weird because the <coughs> restaurants were pretty expensive. Um, so Disneyland food. Are you busy? Sorry. Are you busy? Um, so Disneyland food. Snacks way better than Disney World snacks. However, they have different things at Disneyland that Disney World doesn't have, vice versa. So we can't really compare the two, but that's my opinion on Disneyland snacks. Really good. Disneyland restaurants, eh, like whatever. Ate some good things. Maybe next time if we go back, like we have to try a different set of restaurants. Because the, ones we, of the, the ones we ate at in the park were kind of whatever. Like, Mm, man. Okay, so we covered hotel, food, <coughs> food amenities, <coughs> like as far as like distance. We covered we'll cover that. that. Okay. Um, wait, no, 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 not last. Uh, we'll leave that for last. Okay. Um, the rides. Okay. Rides at Disney World are way different than Disneyland, so it's hard to compare the two. However, Disneyland has a lot of the nostalgic rides, a lot of stuff that Disney World does not have. Okay, Mr. Wonderland. Toad. Alice in Wonderland, Snow White, Scary Adventures, Pinocchio, Winnie the Pooh. Um, Winnie the Pooh. We, we have a Winnie the Pooh one, but it's not the kind. Of, I don't know if it's the same. Um, there's a lot of things that Disneyland has that it's Disney World has. Here, and um, which is cool, which is cool, and I love the fact that it's so small. It was just I wasn't expecting it to be so small. Like, it was small. Disneyland was small. Bless you. We did everything fairly quickly in the mornings. Um, the rides were cool. But the ride, the ride quality. Yeah, the ride quality. Indiana Jones. I mean, the, the queue lines. All the little details around Disneyland 
are so cool. Disney World has their details too, but Disneyland, the historical, excuse me, historical markers every year, like everywhere, like, like Walt stood here. This is where he dreamt of Disneyland, they had a little museum. They had little plaques everywhere where they got different things from around the world. I and saw all his documents that he saw. Like all of that stuff is really cool. So if you're like a Disney nerd like me, like likes, or that wants to learn about Disney history, that's the place to go. I mean, it was really cool in that aspect because there's a lot of history there and a lot of things that they've kept since the opening day of Disneyland, which is really cool. Um, a okay, lot, um, Disney, hold on, hold on. Disney World rides, different. Can't compare the two because there's to, they're two totally different experiences. Disney World, you need a lot more time to walk. Um, we got four-day park hopper, so we... Pretty much did everything but that we wanted to do in one day. Negative and aspect of Disneyland is all the refurbishments that are currently going on. Um, Indiana Jones, I'm lucky that we got to ride it because the next day after riding it, it was closed. Yeah. There is a lot of refurbishments going around. Um, getting ready for Galaxy's Edge, getting ready for, the, I mean, whatever celebration. Right now is the Get Your Ears on Celebration. So the castle was closed, scaffolding, there's a lot of walls everywhere. What is it? <clears throat> which is expected, which is fine with me because you know what? Disneyland is always expanding. Disneyland is always changing. It is inconvenient for those people who wanted to see the castle like me. I wanted to see the castle. However, we'll see it eventually. I'll see what it comes out to, what it looks like afterwards. But there's prices you have to pay for everything, like every park, every place you go to. So um, back to what I was saying, historical aspect of it was really cool. Um... The nostalgia, everything is really close. Um, uh, uh, we did, like I said, we did both parks. We did four day park hoppers, which I feel like it was too too much um, because we were done with Disneyland in one day in the morning. Like we finished it, um, and a lot of help was for the Disney Max Pass that we bought. It's ten dollars per person per day. Um, and what it is, it's like you pay for your fast passes, which Disney World doesn't have. Disney World lets you get three fast passes per, three fast passes at a time. So once you use one, you can you can make another one. Why do you pay for? You a have fast? to finish all your fast passes, and I think that's where we do it wrong because we really don't use fast passes that much at Disney World. But you have to use all three before you can make another one, and then you can start using one right after the other. But you have to make the first three. Um, Why do you pay for Fast Pass at Disneyland I don't know. and you don't pay for it at Disney World? I don't know. Um, but Disneyland, you pay for the Fast Pass system, which is Max Pass, which lets you get one Fast Pass, and as soon as you use that one, you can make another one. So that's how we did the whole morning. Now, first of all, staying at a Disney Resort is always a plus on both sides. So like, if you go to Disney World, Disneyland, you want to stay at a Disney Resort because you get a lot of perks. Which, uh, you can stay late in the park when everyone else has to leave. You can get early. We got early um, entrance to the park. We got an, er an hour early. And that helps a lot because literally everything is like five minute wait. And you don't really have to wait in lines. And you just walk on. So what we did was we did a walk on. We did a fast pass. And like we were passing by uh, Mr. Toad's and it was five minutes. So we did in between fast passes. We got a fast pass in line for something. Wait, we got a fast pass? No, wait. We got on a ride that was like a walk-on. While we were in line, we made a fast pass. We got off of that ride. We were walking towards our next fast pass when we saw another five-minute walk-on ride. So we got on that one while we were walking for the next fast pass. So it's like always a continuous thing because if you get there super early. So it's like you can hit all these rides with fast pass and standby lines because the standby lines are so small. Um, which is great. So we were able to knock out half, like, a lot of Disneyland within the first two hours. I was just ride after ride after ride after ride after ride, which was cool um, because when we, we, and then we went back to the resort, slept, rested a little bit, came back. I ate lunch, came back, and I slept. Don't clock me. I was sleepy. Um, <laughs> Always. Well, shut up. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, we were able to go back to the park and take our time and look around, and that's when we got to enjoy like the little things um, of everything. Why are you burping? I don't know. I always burp when I talk fast. 
Okay, um, so nine times. No, 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 no. Wait, what, what, what? Nine merchandise. Hold on, hold on. Don't jump the gun. Nine times spectacular. Oh, that's right. Nine times spectacular. World of Color was everything. We saw it twice. We saw it once with a dessert party, which was $150 for both of us. Worth it. Worth it because you get assigned seating and you get a lot of food. Like, you get a lot of snacks. Um, and alcohol beverages. And alcoholic beverages. And, which is really cool. Uh, we met some really nice people. And uh, it was cool. The second time we saw it, we waited in line for like two, almost three hours. Just so I can make sure. Because I told them, I want to make sure... I am in the front row. I don't care if I get wet. Granted, it was like 43 degrees. It was freezing cold and we got wet. We did get wet. <clears throat> but I wanted front row. I wanted to experience it with no kids on shoulders and everything like that. And it was so worth it. It was beautiful. Like, I cried. I'm not afraid to say that I cried. I cried. I cried when I walked into Disneyland. I cried when I see kids interacting with characters. I cried when I saw World of Color. I cried. I cried. The whole, the whole trip I cried because there's a lot of cool things. Um, <clears throat> Wednesday, I think we need yeah, she doesn't. Wednesday, get up here. Oh, she's scratching. Yeah, she's scratching. Yeah, she has to go. So, uh, merchandise. So, Disneyland, Disney World share a lot of their merchandise. Like, it's inevitable. You're going to find the same things oh. in both parks. Um, <clears throat> there are some things that say Disneyland on it. There's some things that don't. There's, I mean... They have cool things. For example, this popcorn bucket that we got right here. This popcorn bucket is only available for AP, annual pass holders. Uh, so, like I said, we met really cool people at, um, at uh, what's it called? World of Color Dessert Party. And they were so awesome and so sweet. Like, the sweetest people you'll ever meet. And uh, we kind of asked them. I, I can't feel bad for asking them, but we were, like, that desperate. Because I really wanted this popcorn bucket, y'all. I really wanted it. If it was anything in the park, and I don't like to buy things at the parks, like I, I, I'm cool. I'd rather pay for experiences and food and stuff like that. Um, maybe I'll buy a pin or whatever, but I really wanted that popcorn bucket. So we asked them, and they were very gracious enough to say yes, and they bought it for us. And thank you so much, Bonnie and RJ. Thank you. Can't thank you enough. This is one of the coolest things that we own from Disney, and I can't wait to bring it out. It's going to be amazing. And uh, <clears throat> so. We have a lot of cool shops. Um, a lot of the shops have the same things in them. So if you see something in one side, chances are you're gonna find it somewhere else. Uh, World of Disney has a lot of stuff that the parks have, but some things are only exclusive inside the parks that you can only buy inside the park. So if you go to uh, World of Disney at Downtown Disney, you might not find what you saw in the park. So always ask else. Uh, you might find it on the, in the Emporium on your way out. You might find it at uh, Downtown Disney. But you always want to ask when you buy something. Um, but they had really cool stuff. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, let's see, what else can I think of? Um, da -da 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 -da. Entertainment felt recycled. And by recycled, I mean like, like Sensational Parade, I've seen it. Um, I've seen it on YouTube. They brought it back just for this um, celebration. They added a couple of floats. But it was cute. It was cute. Um, but like I said, I've seen it before on YouTube. So it wasn't that like, wow. Like, I wanted to see. Really wanted to see Paint the Night. I mean, it didn't come. It didn't happen for us. But hopefully they bring Paint the Night back soon. Okay. So, um, like I said, again, recycle. Mickey's Mix Magic was cute. However, it was just very, like, thrown together. Like, it was cute. It was different. It was very, uh, what, is, what do the young kids call it? ED, EDM, electronic dance music with fireworks and um, projection mapping and stuff like that. That was cool. Um, we got to see it from the train station. So we just saw the, the fireworks and some of the projections and stuff on the castle, on the castle screen. And um, that was cool. Uh, but it just wasn't... I would have expected more for the 90th anniversary celebration, you know what I mean? I would have expected, like, wow, that's cool. That's cool. Um, Frozen, Live at the Hyper Hyperion, was awesome. It was super cool. It was worth the wait. Um, like, I'm a musical theater person, so that was really cool. Even Johnny liked it. Right, John? What? You liked Frozen? Yeah, that was really nice. 
It was nice. I wanted to see it again, but I didn't want to wait for it again, so whatever. <clears throat> World of Color was everything. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, we're going to get ready to talk about the topic. Okay. The topic that killed my Disneyland experience. All right, guys. And like, they, like I said, this is in, in no way... Did she poop? No. Wednesday, you didn't poop? This is in no way to offend cast members um, or Disneyland or Disney World or anybody in general. But Disneyland DCA cast members are not Disney. And why I say this is because the magic was not there. And it was very disappointing. And I gave it the my best shot to to like give them the benefit of the doubt, whether it was early in the morning, late at night, I understand, I've been there, I've been there where I just wanted to go home and die, and I was exhausted, but I always gave magic. I always gave them the Disney experience that they deserve, that guests but deserve. there were some. <clears throat> I can name them. The lady, the chef who gave Johnny the birthday cupcake at Plaza Inn, thank you for making the magic. Uh, Patty, who gave us, um, who was talking to us through the glass, she was making Minnie Mouse Rice Krispie Treats and she talked to us through the glass. Patty, thank you Patty, on Main Street. Um, oh, I remember her. What was her name? Natalie? What was her name Natalie? Yes. From Flo's Cafe? Yes. Natalie oh, from yeah. Flo's Cafe, it was sweet. you were amazing. Thank you for making the magic for me and Johnny. Um, and by making the magic, I don't mean giving us free things, because that's one thing that I cannot stand. I don't want I don't want people to think that we feel entitled. We just, are not just entitled. Just interaction. Thank you for saying something to us. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for wishing us a good morning. Thank you for making the magic. Who else? Um, Who else? Um, the guy at the Cozy Cone. I don't remember your name. But we were talking to me, and you made good conversation. That was really sweet. Through. The lady at Monsters Inc. Uh, we were gonna get on Monsters Inc., but they get she. It was like an hour and a half wait, and then we're just like, yeah, never mind. So she gave us a buddy pass, and we literally walked right on. That's making the magic. Like we don't expect free things, and that's not what I mean by making the magic. We don't want free Unexpected things. Unexpected niceness. Like just we just want to be treated nice. I cannot tell you how. I mean five. Five cast members, okay? I don't want to even, like, I, I want to be able to tell you guys every cast member that we came in contact with was the super sweetest guy, people ever. You know what I mean? And that's not the case. Not even in our hotel. Like, we were leaving our hotel at one in the morning, okay? One in the morning, granted, it's late at night. There was, like, I want to say about eight or nine cast members lined up talking to each other. And it was just me and him walking down with our luggage, obviously leaving the resort. Not one of them said, thank you for staying with us. Thank you for coming. How can we help you? Do you need help with that? Nothing. Didn't even look up at us. Like, weird. Weird. And I can tell you that there's times where we went, it was just me and Johnny that literally walked into shops like on New Orleans Square and, and the Emporium and on Main Street. And we would just walk in and it was just me and him. And one cat, one or two cast members, and they don't even look up. They don't even acknowledge you. Not even a good morning. Nothing. Like I'm not even exaggerating. And it was, it was pretty, pretty disheartening, because being a cast member, you get trained <coughs> on that. Like you either got it, you don't. I felt like I was going to a mall. Like they hated their jobs, and it was very disheartening. Like it was one of those things that I did not feel like I was at Disney, and it was weird. It was so weird, like walking through and not being acknowledged, not good morning, not good night, how are you doing, how can I help you, or, or are you having a wonderful vacation, how's your vacation, nothing. And Daniel, Daniel the uh, Disney Vacation Club guy, oh, yeah. he was nice. Um, <clears throat> but, like I said, as a trained cast member, speaking as a cast member, you are there to provide the magic. You are there to... People come to see the attractions. People come to see... All... Like I said, if every ride was closed at Disneyland, 
but the cast members did everything in their power to make me feel special, to make me feel appreciated, to make me feel like I'm at Disney. I wouldn't care if all the rides were shut down. I would. Well, you would be. I'm. You know what I'm saying? Like it makes a big difference. Yeah. It makes a big difference because that's what sets Disney apart is their guest service. Like okay, the fact that our room was not ready. Yeah, we get it. That happens. But the fact that they just like they, that's it. Like, I mean, there is nothing. Like they didn't say, "Oh, why don't you go over here or whatever." It was just. Are you like, guys tired? Here, look. Let me show you where you can sit and rest. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, it was just like it's not ready. Sorry. Like, sorry. Okay. And that's pretty much like the the response from everybody. Sorry. Or. Um. Uh. Literally, we asked people where the fast pass line was for Cars Land, and they're like. Not even looking at us. Hi, where's fast? Where's the fast pass entrance for Cars Land? I'm like, <sighs> back to what I was saying. As a train cast member, and I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this, but as a train cast member, you are there to provide the magic. Whether it's to say good morning, whether it's to see a magical moment and and jump on in, and here's a fast pass. You, hi princess, good morning. Or I wanted to call princess. Hi princess, good morning. And something something you know i wanted to be acknowledged like walt intended it to be and i was not in this trip walt disney world is up on their game yeah these people like they don't they... care mm -hmm. i we went to this little place outside of uh, outside of a uh, property and they treated us better than disney did and I'm not trying to be spoiled, and I'm not trying to ask for free things, and I don't want free things, and I don't want to get my butt kissed. I want the Disney experience that I know Disney's supposed to give. Sorry, I have to go to the bathroom. Let's go. So that killed my Disney vacation. I, it, okay. Oh, I hate when people say that, but I go to Disney expecting that, and it was just... Like, even meeting characters. I'm sorry, the line is closed. No! You say, I'm sorry, Mickey and Minnie will be back. Um, if you want to really want to meet them, here's the times. They'll be back in 10 minutes. I'm so sorry you missed them. They're going to go have cheesecake. Something, not the line is closed. They'll be back somewhere here. They literally said somewhere here, they'll be here in uh, four or something. It's like, where is the magic, y'all? Where is the magic? And I know I posted this on Facebook and a lot of people agreed with me. Like a lot of people agreed with me that the cast members were terrible. And it's so sad. It is so sad. Um, there's a kind of handful that say Disney World cast members are bit, but for the most part, everyone agreed with me about Disneyland cast members. Um, it was very disheartening. My overall rating on the trip on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, was probably a 7. Food, restaurants were bit, were okay. Maybe we just chose the wrong ones. We have to go back and try new ones. Uh, I won't go back anytime soon. Maybe way after the Galaxy's Edge craze is over. Um, convenience was there. Travel was there. Uh, hotel room itself was there. Guest service really knocked it out. Like 10, like the three points is literally guest service. Um, I don't want to sound ungrateful and I don't want to sound like a spoiled brat because I'm very grateful that I was able to go and I was able to experience. Don't get me wrong. I had a great time. I did. I enjoyed what I enjoyed. I really enjoyed it. I really loved all the history. I really loved all that stuff, but the cast members really were like, why, 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 why? Um, was Disneyland everything that I expected it to be? No. Some good things, some bad things. Um, Disney World, I mean, there's just so much. To, I was done with Disneyland the first full day that we stayed there. I was done. Like the second day kind of just seemed like, well, we want to go, let's just go to the park. We went, the park, we went back to the park. We looked at things that we didn't get to see the first time. We overlooked things. and Cool. I'm ready to go now. Let's go to DCA. So we walked across the street to DCA. The last day at Dis uh, Dis with a Disney park hopper, we literally just walked 
And we're just like, let's go back to the other park. So we went to the other park, went back to the resort for like eight hours. And we went back in the afternoon to have dinner and walk the walk and watch World of Color and everything. It was just kind of like, what, what, what are we gonna do now? Let's just, you know what I mean? Disney World is always like, let's go here, let's go there, let's go there, or here, or over there, okay, no. Resort hopping, uh, um, Fantasia Gardens, uh, Disney Springs. There's always something to do. Over here, it's three things. Resort hopping, which we did it, it was okay. Um, parks or Disney, downtown Disney. That's it, on property. <clears throat> so, I, like I said, I don't want to sound grateful. I don't want to sound like a brat. Was it everything I expected? No. Some things were really cool, some things weren't. Some things were just really boring, some things weren't. Um, it will always be a Disney park, and I appreciate it for what it is, but the cast members really need to step it up. Um, In my opinion, I wouldn't care if I ever went back to Disneyland again. Yeah. I will always go to Disney World. Yeah. So. I mean, I would go back maybe in a couple of years, not anytime mm -hmm. soon. My favorite park out of all of them was California Adventure. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was cute. I love Pixar Pier. I love the feeling of being on a pier. I love all that. That was really cute. Uh, that's what the Hollywood Studios should be, because I don't like Hollywood Studios at Disney World. But um, for the most part, I mean, don't think, don't, don't, like I said, don't get us wrong. It wasn't a bad trip. No, it wasn't. I would rather be at Disneyland than be at work. I don't, that. I don't feel... I don't feel like I have had the had Disney experience. Mind, yeah. I don't feel like I had the Disney experience. Like, I just I just don't feel like I was at Disney. <laughs> like, there's other people, like, people in my family who... Like, they, all they know is Disneyland. Mm -hmm. So, they love it. Yeah. But the fact that we've been to both, I think... Then you would understand. Yeah. I took my aunt and my cousins this past trip. Not this trip, but the last trip that we went to Disney World. I took them with me and I planned it to a T. And it's been the best vacation we've ever had. Like, it, it does have its perks that I used to work for Disney World. So, I, like, I know where everything is. I know what time everything's at. I know how to get to everywhere. I know what buses to take. I know everything there is to know about Disney World. And so, I guess that helps us with that. But over here, it was just so lax. Like, do you want to go to the park or do you want to... Let's just sleep. Let's watch Housewives on the TV. Like, as opposed to going to Disney Park. Like, it was just... I don't know. There's just so much more to do at Disney World. Well, that's what I said. I just feel like we were just so limited. And the fact that the cast members didn't really make us feel welcome. Oh, it's just... Oh, I don't want it to sound... Guys, I no, just really don't want it to sound like we were expecting them to kiss no, our butts. No, 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 no. But no. the Disney magic... From a cast member is everything. It makes a world of difference. That's what set Dis Disney apart from Universal. That's like, what sets okay, Disney like for the apart fact, from this. Like even when we customer went, service. we went out of our well, we went out of our way. I even went to make the custom buttons and stickers because that's like a thank you that he likes to do. I give them out left and right at Disney World. Left yeah, and right. Here so you go, even here you go. our like every morning, I even would leave a tip for the house, the mousekeeper, and with a button and a sticker. <laughs> And they would not. They wouldn't take them. it. Maybe like, that's a, Maybe that's a rule that they're not allowed to take it. No, she took I her even, money. I even wrote down on their note. Thank you so much for for everything that you do. Thank for, thank you, mousekeeping. Here's a small token of our appreciation. Please take this tip, button, and sticker that we'd like to give to you. They and left. they left it there. That was kind of like a slap in the face. But I don't know if they can take. But they that. took the money. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. But in that case, just leave everything there. Oh, yeah. Don't pick and choose. Oh, I don't want your stupid button. Yeah, that was, that was kind of messed up. And I spent a lot of money on those buttons. <laughs> yeah. I gave away like one to one cast member. Oh, that that's another one. A cast member at the at the confectionery at Downtown Disney. Oh, yeah. A greeter. She was really sweet and they gave her a button. But I mean, come on. I'm counting six out of my entire vacation of Disney cast members. So that's why I'm giving my trip a seven. Um, I'm very appreciative of going. The rides were cool. Pirates was cool. Um, uh, snacks. Snacks were snacks. delicious. Snacks. We're good. Disneyland is not my jam. Um, 
as in, I were actually thinking about getting annual pass hold, being annual pass holders for it. But I wouldn't use it in California. I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go, back. go back. Like, I would be like, why are we going back to Disneyland? I would use it for, like, the special events. And I would use it for, like, oh, this is happening today. Let's go today type of thing. But I wouldn't go there, like, like a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people go, like, every day because they have, have annual pass holders. Um, I just don't see it. I don't, it was very, it's very weird for me. I am a Disney freak. Those of you who know me know I'm a Disney freak. Like, I love Disney. I love being there. I love everything about it. The music, the lights, blah, blah, blah. But this trip just seemed fizzled. Like, it was like flat Sprite. It's uh, still good, but it's not Sprite. Does that make sense? Yes. So I give my experience a 6 out of 10. Um, it would have been more, but like I said... <laughs> The cast members made a difference in my ranking. So, so the good things about this trip was we met new friends. Snacks were delicious. The nostalgia of it all, the history of it all, some of the rides that were not at Disney World, um, the convenience, the hotel room itself, um, some shows and attractions. Things that we absolutely were terrible were how oh, far it was. Another thing is that the cast members, like everyone, had a different had different information. Oh yeah, that's a yes. good point. Thank you. Disney cast Disney Night cast members did not They're know. Not knowledgeable. We would ask someone a question, and they would tell us an answer, and I was like, that doesn't seem right. So we would ask someone else, and they would tell us something totally different. Or they just didn't and that know. was a lot of people. Or they would be like, let me find out. Oh yeah, yeah, let me find out. I asked them, well, how do you get to Haunted Mansion? And like, go this way, go around that way. And then I literally walked forward. I looked, I just happened to look over. Yeah, it was right there. And Haunted Mansion was right there. And I'm like, these people don't know anything about anything. And I'm not saying everybody, and I don't want to offend any cast Okay, so another anyone. thing that we like to do is send postcards from Main Street. Because you get the postage that says it came from Main Street. Yeah. So I went to a guy and I asked him, <laughs> do you sell stamps? He's like, no, no, we're on property. No. Just like that. Like, no. So then I'm like, no, I'm going to ask someone else. So I went to another postage store and she's like, oh, well, if you just write your postage, you put it in our mailbox, we'll provide the stamp for you for free. The other guy, this is whatever. He just like, no, we don't sell well, it. Well, he could have told me like, yeah, I mean. If you just leave it in the mailbox, we'll do it. But maybe he didn't know. But yeah, but he, he was, was rude very, about it. very rude about Relax it. about it. So, so yeah. what was I saying? Bad things about Disney. Um, misinformation. Misinformation. The cast members is number one. Like the cast members just ruined it. Like not ruined the vacation, but like ruined our experience. Our experience. Um, the fact that well, that's pretty much it. Hotel wasn't ready. Had to wait forever for that um elevators we didn't talk about elevators at our resort elevators were terrible you push a button on the outside of the elevator and then it would op it would tell you which elevator to go to like we'll push uh sixth floor and it would say go to elevator b we would go to elevator b and it would take like 20 30 minutes just for it to get get down so then you would press it again and it would direct tell you to, you to go to c and so at one point there was a cast member directing people because it was so backed up the last night before we, we, I went downstairs to get us a pizza, I guess there was a big wave of people, and I literally waited like 25 minutes. For an elevator! For my elevator. Oh. So, I don't want to sound like the privileged Disney guy, but that, that was just, it was weird. Don't get me wrong, like I keep saying, it was a cool trip. I would rather be there than work any day of the, of the week. Like, I would go to Disneyland instead of going to work. Appreciated it for what it was. I loved it. Loved that I got to go with you. Loved that I got to experience new things. Loved that I got to see new shows. Um, I loved all that about it. Right, Zero? Right, Pookie? <laughs> so, will I go to Disneyland anytime soon? Probably not. We're already planning a trip to, to, to Florida for, um, for Halloween. Halloween. So that's in the works. But... Overall, I'm worried. I really want to do the Disney cruise, but um, now after this, I feel like the cast members are just going to get worse. No, because you're stuck on a boat. That's my fear, and that's my take on it. 
All right, well, I don't know about that, but I don't really go on a boat. If he's near not, I might get him as well. Um, you, you could wear, you could wear the, the, the swimsuit from, from Adam's family. Oh, that'd be cute. I would probably do that. But overall, it was a fun trip. Uh, food was great. And that was my take on it. Um, I will choose Disney World over Disneyland anytime for now until something happens at Disney World that I get annoyed with. But Disney World will always be my home. If you can go to Disney World, go to Disney World. Disney World. If you can go to Disneyland, go to Disneyland. You need to experience everything once um, once in your life. Um, I don't want you to sway your opinion on Disneyland, Disney World over us. This is just our, our personal opinion, our um, experience with this latest trip. And I hope it helps some of you. I hope it, I mean, like I said, take into consideration what we said. Um, ask it's, questions about everything. Uh, when before you go, before you get there, what's open, what's not, yes, because a lot of people do will your research. Off. Do your research. Do your research. Just, just don't go on a whim. And that's it. Be weird and be beautiful, guys. Bye.